So I don't think Max and I did uh, particularly well on our shopping trip. Um, little, little short on the pants. <laughs> <laughs> little short and tight. Max's pants are also a little. Speak for yourself. Says, Mine, uh, it's fashion. Fashionable. It's called fashion. They looks, don't wear long pants anymore. Looks little like small. A it looks little small to me. <laughs> Your shirt. How did you do on the shirt? Shirt looks pretty good. Uh, it's okay. It's okay. Okay. Uh, my shirt is like very baggy. Let me let me like put it on and see. <laughs> Sure, it looks fairly nice. It is just like very, very baggy on the sides. So once I like button it up, it just becomes very baggy, but it'll work. Um, today we're going to do a 10 course fine dining at a place called Mask Lab. It should be fun, I'm really excited. Mumbai, city of dreams, city of, I mean, there are oh, like tons of billionaire Bollywood actors here. So I mean, there's, you eat everything, you get street food, you get, Super fine dining, you get super expensive, you get slums. I mean, you just get everything. But today we're gonna go experience, I think some of the best of what Mumbai has to offer. Big pant. Big pant little shirt. <laughs> Mine looks okay too, doesn't it? It looks... A little baggy. Little big. <laughs> little big. It's like... <laughs> Max, can you hold as a light show? Uh, not this way, it's a light. It's like little, like... This is my body. This is where my body ends. <laughs> Double Chris. <laughs> Double Chris. <laughs> Max, how does the hat, how do I look with the hat? Oh man. <laughs> what do I think? I look good? You look like character. You look like character. It's all, it's all, all about experiencing, or, or experimenting. Where we're going to the lab today. <laughs> you, look, you look pretty good. I just look like, I don't know, I don't know what I look like. Tried tucking it in, tucking it in, isn't working too well. <laughs> you, look, you look like a 40 year old man. <laughs> not, uh, not, not my style. I don't know if it's the hat or the shirt or what. Oh my gosh. Oh my god, okay, I may, uh, I may switch back into my blue shirt. <laughs> you look like you're like an architect for career. You look like you go hunting for dinosaur bones. <laughs> <laughs> and you're not Indiana Jones cool either. It's like the nerdy architect. It's like the nerdy architect. <laughs> what do you think, Max? How do we look? Let's get, uh, get our pre, pre lunch selfie. Look sure, pretty good. Nice. Huh? My Delhi outfit came together much better than my Mumbai outfit. <laughs> Mumbai, city of uh, fashion and dreams, but not, not, not our city. I missed the mark. We missed the mark. <laughs> and, the, and the bar is higher. The, assignment. the bar is higher here, too. Okay, I'll bring it back for Taj. You'll be here, I'll be gone. I think I'm gonna bring it. Big time for Taj, Chord Bazaar Special, Taj Mahal. So many buttons, Max. G. G. G? G. Outfit made. Outfit achane. Achane. No, sir. Thank you. <laughs> Max, are we just walking? It's like a kilometer away, but we're yeah, also, I mean, we're kind of late. Be goofy looking in hot sweaty, I like it. Max, why don't we take our, take our car? <laughs> take. Are you gonna drive? Red Ruby, Red Ruby, you? You gonna drive? Yeah, I got it. <laughs> That's okay, we'll walk today. I can't, my pants are too tight. <laughs> can't drive, I can't, can't reach the pedal. <laughs> oh, hello, sir. Hi. Hi. Namaste, sir. Namaste, namaste. How are you? Namaste. Surendra. Yes, sir. Surendra, yeah, I remember. Yeah, I remember. <laughs> yeah, that guy. We are going very close. Yeah. You know, mask, rest, mask, mask lab. Mask. Yeah, yeah. Oh, you know, huh? How much yeah. will it's only one kilometer, but <laughs> yeah. how much will it go? But price the same like that. Price same. What is price? <laughs> yes, <laughs> only 500. 500. One kilometer. Okay, should we go for fun? 500, one kilometer. Oh. Yeah. oh. You can take a packet then back to the hotel. Ah. Better. What? Finish your lunch and yeah. back to the hotel. But maybe three hours. No, oh, take a four hour package. One thousand eight hundred only for four hours. One thousand eight hundred. Oh, yeah, we so don't need. Waiting for there. Yeah. Will you go two hundred? <laughs> One way. Yeah. One kilometer. Yeah, How much? How much you will go? Yeah, five hundred. Five hundred. 
Oh man. No. Yes, you know, yes, you know, not one kilometer. Next one is two, next one is inside. Ask. Inside. Silent zone area there. We are inside. More it's inside. Yeah, their their mask is not extending inside car. You're uh, coming outside long way, highway bar. And then oh. I have to walk. Yeah, walk. Many more work. So wait, I have oh. to pay 500 rupees to walk. Yeah. And then oh. we have to walk. No, no, no. no you must. Inside. Are road, man. Are road. Oh man, that's a lot for one because kilometer. Because they explain yeah. you, there's a not available cab and inside yeah. after the lunch. You can walk from the one kilometer outside, then we find out cab there. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, So yeah, the yeah. better then you can hire him. Ah, uh, we do, No, I don't think we need to hire. We okay. just want to, I guess. <laughs> okay, we will walk, I think, yeah. Thank you, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> 500 is a lot for one kilometer. Still have to walk. <laughs> Still have to walk, okay. I think, uh, I think better we just... That's okay, we will walk, I think, yeah. Thank you. 500 is way too much for like one kilometer. <laughs> we will walk 10 minutes. It's literally, we're already halfway there. <laughs> too much, Half too much. I was getting out of the hotel. I know. <laughs> like, I think we wasted more time sitting there talking. Okay, I think this was a really easy walk. I think, I think this might be us right here. I don't know, it's very close. Brother, can I ask you a question? Yeah, yeah, no problem. Is this mask lab right here? Uh, mask lab is here. Okay, right here. Yeah, yeah. Have to go around or? Uh, so, mask lab is here, but the mask uh, main main, uh, is there. Inside, okay. Uh -huh. so go Right inside. If you're interested in an exhibition, there's also an exhibition going in at this place. Okay, we uh, we booked one lunch. So lunch is uh, this inside, huh? Yes. Inside, right side. So you go straight and okay. you'll see uh, mask after two, three shops. Yeah. Okay, thank you, man. Yeah, yeah, thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Oh, how nice. Okay, nice. Talk to them back alley. Oh, very nice. Hello, sir. How are you? Oh, a very interesting area. <clears throat> okay, here we are. Wow. Immediately very nice, uh, very nice entrance. Hello, sir. Yes, we have a reservation. 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 Welcome, sir. Thank you, sir. You guys have a... Yes. Yes, we have a booking. We yeah. own the... Hi. I was just seeing you guys doing... I thought you were doing a thing. Hi, oh, yeah. Aditya. 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 Me and my wife. Okay. Hi, hi. Are you on the place? Hi, okay. Nice to meet you. Yeah. Chris, nice, to meet you yeah. nice to meet you. Hi. Very nice to meet you. Where are you guys from? Uh, USA. Oh, oh amazing. Lovely. Nice. Awesome. Well, I'm very excited. Thank you. Wow. Beautiful Hello, entry. welcome. Hello, welcome. How are you, sir? How is it? All good. Okay. Yeah. Nice place. We're we following Aditya. I think we're following you. I don't know who we're following. Am I following you? I'm sorry. No, no, no. Oh, I'm no, sorry. 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 Sorry, I wasn't sure no, <laughs> who I'm following. He has okay. the restaurant. They okay. They're just visiting from the US. They have a reservation. So Great. Seeing the things yeah, making some uh, video of the food. Yeah. Of course, <laughs> please. Please, I'm going to leave you to the reservation. Okay. In the name of? Yes, Chris Lewis. Chris Lewis. Great. Okay. Thank you so much, Aditya. Thank you. Which table? This one, huh? Okay, thank you. Oh, nice, nice table. Very nice. Okay. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Beautiful, beautiful seating arrangement. I love the seating arrangement. Just come in here, it's very open. Reminds me, uh, this reminds me a lot of uh, Central when we were in uh, Peru. Very nice. Hello, good afternoon, sir. Time to start with some Steelers parking water. Ah, uh, yeah, let me wait for my friend and then uh, we'll oh, decide. We'll I think still water though. Still? Yeah. Only room temperature? Let me ask him. Let me wait for Yeah, thank you so much. Mask is over there. Max is over there talking to the owner. Oh, this is the, this is the air conditioning back here. Yeah. Would you like to have a bigger TV? Sorry? Would you like to have a bigger table? Ah, uh, a little bit. If you were, if you have available yeah, space, have it would be great. Okay, this one is available. This would be great. Yeah. This music. Okay. Great. Thank you so much, Chad. This is great. This is perfect. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you so much. This is great. Wow. Okay. Perfect. Perfect restaurant view. <laughs> they asked me if we were food, uh, food YouTubers. So I am. He speaks a lot of languages. He knows more culture and language. Yeah. I uh, named all the languages he speaks. He's like, really? 
<laughs> Very confused. Uh, what water do we want? They ask. Steel or sparkling. Okay. Could we do? You want to sparkling? It's up to you. It's your, it's your video. I don't know. I don't know what I want. I've never had sparkling. Yeah, you have. You've had bubbles. No, no, no. I meant like I've never had it with a fine dining. It'll be fine. We did it. Uh, yeah, in Hanoi. You got the. Oh, we did do. Yeah. Just do, 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 do sparkling, please. Sparkling? Yeah. Would you like to have lime slicing? Yes. That would be great. Yeah. Thank you. I need to give you some money after this because I'm in the wine party. <laughs> oh, that's fine, dude. You just help me make a video. It's an in-course tasting menu. So we got, we got 10, 10 course tasting menu is what we're doing. 10 course tasting menu, it's very reasonable. It's what, 4150 per person. 10 different meals. Uh, Max is going to do a wine pairing for 7000 You have expensive taste. I'm going to do the non-alcoholic for 1900 Should be good. How are you doing, sir? Very bubbly. <laughs> Thanks, sir. Thanks, boss. So we have a couple of menus for you to have a look at. Okay. Uh, that's the wine list and the cocktail menu. Great. Uh, of course, you can go for our pairings as well. If you flip that uh, a sheet there on the other side, you can see what pairings we have along with the food. Okay. Uh, the wine pairings is six wines, half a glass of each. Uh, while the cocktail pairings is about five drinks. And what is the non-alcoholic pairing? Non-alcoholic pairing, again, we put whatever seasonal fruits we have at the bar. Okay. And that consists of four different drinks. Okay, great. Do you recommend the cocktail or the wine? Both are great depending on what you like or else you could have a look at a la, la carte menu and order whatever you like also. Okay, perfect. So that's, that's also a good idea and then, uh, you know, we can help you with another menu. Why don't you do the wine, Max? Go for it. Don't worry about price, I'll, I'll so pay for we it. Have, uh, if, if you're really into cocktails, we have a cocktail bar upstairs that usually open only during the evenings called the living room. Uh, but I could help you with those drinks right now as well. Okay. These are very, very interesting technique forward drinks. So we use, we don't use shaking or stirring as techniques here. Uh, we use techniques like cryofiltration, redistillation and centrifugation to get a crystal clear beer. Oh, so man. all of these uh, drinks that we have here um, have been clarified and uh, we pre-batch them. So we take about uh, four or five days to make every cocktail. And yeah. We can keep it. So. Oh wow! Uh, so it's like a real lab here. It's actually like, like a real. Lab. It's like a real lab. Oh, yeah, we cool. have a lab also a few steps away. Oh, okay, uh, awesome. And over there is where we make all of these drinks, and we yeah. also do a lot of ferments. So we make our own uh, uh, misos, garums, uh, uh, kombuchas, cafes, what have you. All different sorts of ferments we make for ourselves over there. Cool. It's, uh, it's like a flavor lab. Yeah, awesome. Well, we're scientists, so we oh, we're, we're, we we studied science. <laughs> STEM major, so <laughs> we, now we just make videos. So then you'll, you'll definitely have a lot of fun. These are we appreciate, uh, very yeah. interesting flavor combinations as well. See, for example, in Gamble, uh, we very recently found sea buckthorn berries, which we usually only found in the tundra, uh, in Ladakh. Okay. In Ladakh. We only thought that they're there in places like um, Norway, Sweden, and Denmark, but uh, yeah, we have them in India as well, so we okay. use them for the drink for, for a drink here. Or uh, even the Bruce Lee is great. It's with tequila, star fruit, basil, and bhavnagri chilies. The bhavnagri chilies are like jalapenos, so they're not super spicy, but they don't have a kick, hence the name Bruce Lee. Okay. Good. What are you going to do? I'll give you a few minutes to uh, have a look at everything. Good. And uh, just to understand for the food, both of you are non vegetarian, is that right? Do you want to do a vegetarian or do you want to do non vegetarian? Sure, so whatever you book, we can do non. I don't know what you want to eat. Tell you what meats we're serving for. That them. would be great, yeah. So, in the poultry, there's duck and quail. Uh, for meat, we've got lamb and pork. Okay. And then in seafood, uh, there's clams. Okay. Okay, let's do non veg, I think. Okay, we'll do non veg today. Like, apart from these uh, five dishes, all the other dishes are common, so they're vegetarian for everyone. Right, right. Okay. Okay. Yeah. We did the veg dolly yesterday. We yeah, let's do, <laughs> let's do the non veg. Let's try it, yeah. Uh, okay. Everything for the food menu is an elementary surprise. There's no printed food menus for you. Okay, uh, we great. give you one towards the end just to reflect on what you had for the meal. There'll be someone from the service team or the kitchen team explaining each course out in detail. That would be great. Encourage you to ask as many questions as you like. Perfect. And, awesome. Uh, we're just very ingredient driven. We take inspiration from different regional cuisines of India, given that okay. there's a wealth of so many. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, uh, you're in for a ride. Let me know. Oh, uh, I'm excited. Like anything. I didn't get your name. What's your name? My name is Riddhi. 
Rede. Rede. Nice to meet you, Max. Rede. Is that your name? Rede. Rede. Yeah. Okay. Nice to meet you, brother. Thank you so much. Max, what? Chris. 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 <laughs> What's better for your video? I can do either. Max, whatever you want to do. It's documenting. I'm not. I'm not trying to. I mean, the, 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 this is interesting. I just don't know if I can drink five cocktails. Right. And be. Uh, be normal. It's fine. You don't want to. Do, if you want to do non-alcoholic and like be able to film later, you're fine too. I dude. can like, film don't. no matter what. It's like, it's up to you, or just order one drink. It's up to you. Don't worry about money, dude, because I'm, I'm making the video, so. And it doesn't matter for my video, because I'm not the one drinking it. I'm mostly focusing on the food and the, just whatever I'm drinking, so. Here's the wine menu, too. I won't do it. I'm either going to do a pairing or a pairing. I'm not gonna right. I'm going to do the non-alcoholic pairing. I'll do the wine. All right. So we'll do one, one non-alcoholic, one wine. Break. Brother, could we do, uh, for the pairing, could we do one non-alcoholic and one wine? One wine, one wine. Yeah, wine for him and non-alcoholic. Mm -hmm. Yes, please. Thank you so much. Yep. Thanks, sir. Okay. Is this in your way? I can move this. Alright, thank you. So, the first mocktail you are having is a fresh mulberry base. Okay. It has some homemade grenadine syrup made with fresh pomegranate juice and spices like cinnamon, cardamom, rose. Uh, and it has some blood orange tea, top okay. it with some soda and a pinch of Himalayan soda. Awesome. Cheers. Thank you very much, sir. Awesome. Mulberry base. And Max, this is coming too. Hold on. Well, let's well, let Max get his uh, his drink first. So, the first wine of the afternoon is uh, uh, from a region known as Penedes. So, Penedes is uh, just uh, to the south of Barcelona. Uh, and uh, a lot of wines from that area are known as Kava which is a sparkling uh, wine similar to champagne. Okay. But this producer and a few other producers from the area in true Catalonian fashion uh, they branched away into their own uh, sort of a union known as Corpina. So most, most of Kava is mass produced um, and not great quality but these guys are more quality focused. Uh, they do like, small little things that matter. Say uh, they use grapes only from one vintage but usually Kava is blend of many different vintages to keep one uh, house style all the time um, and uh, they, they don't release it for around five years so this wine was released just uh, about a few months ago uh, so it also sees bottle aging for about uh, uh, 36 months or around three years that gives it a lot more complexity similar to champagne uh, so you get a lot of that ready biscuity character um, the, the you can see the mousse or the texture on the palate also is quite uh, uh, quite creamy. Okay, perfect. And, uh, they use local grapes for it though. Uh, they've got very interesting names. The local grapes are called Shrello, Makabeo and Pareada. Okay, perfect. Right? Alright, thank you brother. Thank you brother. Max, you want to go for it first? Yeah, what, what do you? What do you? Buttery. What, it smells very buttery and creamy. Yeah, okay. Just to release the aroma. Okay. Yeah, just nice. kind of get it moving a little bit. It's nice. It's acidic. It's fruity. It's tart. It is a little bit buttery, but I like the bubbles from it. It clears the throat. Gets you kind of hungry. You know, it's a little bit, a little bit rich, but it's also got that that sour, that tartness that I love. What a pretentious dick. <laughs> and my drink, man. This drink actually looks really nice. I don't want to do this. Okay, let's go. Other way. Other way. I'll just, you do it like that, or I'll just destroy it like put it like that. Okay, I'll just do it like right there, like this. Okay, some mulberry mocktail. A lot of other things, he, blood orange, I think I heard, cinnamon, lots of little things. Let's just, let's just try it. I'll do left hand. color though. I know, it's so bright red. Looks like, uh, looks like a fruit punch. <laughs> Reminds me of a fruit punch. Oh. A mulberry. Oh, you do. You do get a little bit of blood orange in there. That's really nice. It's a really nice balance. That blood. That mulberry is really good. Sparkling. Oh, so good. That's like first class fruit punch with mulberry. That's really good, actually. <laughs> first class fruit punch with mulberry. Let's make a little bit of space in the yeah. center for us. Sorry. That's okay. I'm is this okay right here? To me. <laughs> is this okay right here? Uh, yeah, okay. Sure, not a problem. Not in the way. Wow. Thank you. So, all of 
this that you see over here is the first course for the day. Okay. And I'll start explaining with what's uh, over here in the center first. So we started off with uh, an achappam at the base. So okay. an achappam is actually a rice flour tart or a rice flour cookie. Okay. It is, you know, very famously made in Kerala. Uh, 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 when we stuff that achappam with the semi dried gravy that we made, okay. and this gravy is called as Murungakai Vatha Kolumbu. Uh, uh, you know, it's a, a semi dried gravy that's made with some drumstick marrow. So, uh, whatever was left of the drumsticks after that, we, uh, which is the seeds, uh, we take it and we marinate it in some curry leaf oil and we place it on top again. Then we also have tiny slivers of uh, resham patti chili on top of it in the end. Then what we have over here for you is uh, a corn masa shell at the base. Then we stuff that shell up with uh, something that we like to call the bhutta salad. So, bhutta is uh, a word for charred corn in India. So, uh, we like charred to call it bhutta salad, yes. Okay. And we top it off with a mousse on top, which is again made with some corn. And it's also infused with these yellow chilies we get from Ladakh called as Thengyar chilies. So, that one has a little bit of a spicy kick to it. Okay. And what we have over there for you is something that has a ghevar at the base. So, ghevar is actually a, a traditional Indian sweet. Uh, but this one we've decided to leave savory and we've topped it off with a duck based achar for the both of you. So, you know, achar is this uh, uh, pickle kind pickle. of a, a preparation that's made in India. Then we've topped it off with uh, uh, some garnish and uh, in the center, what you see, the tiny white sl uh, slice, uh, it's some pickled water chestnut that we have. Okay. So, uh, I would suggest, you know, you started off uh, uh, with this, you have the corn tart after that and you finish it off with the gaver. Okay, start off with this one? Yeah. Then the corn. Then yes. Okay. Great. Please enjoy. Thank you, brother. Wow, that was that was a lot. <laughs> that was a lot. I, there, I immediately feel very complex. You just want to go for it? Sure. So this is like a... What did he say this was? This is the rice flour with the, the reduced down dry gravy. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So it's like a gravy with... And this is like the fruit with the seeds, right? Right. Fruity seeds. Okay. And a little chili on top. And little chili on top. Let's go. Oh. Tastes like Kerala. Tastes like God's own country. That's really good though. It's a tomato kind of base, right? In there? It's got the drumstick and everything like that. Oh man. Not that, that kind of like rough rice, rice pastry. It's very nice crunch to it. Very nice, light, fluffy. Mm. You want to go for corn? I guess. Corn-tastic. Corn-tastic. <clears throat> I got I corn. Oh, there's like a deviled egg. In <laughs> I was yeah. thinking like little corn pie. Oh yeah, that too. Corn mousse pie. Oh. Good? Mm -hmm. Is it corny? There's definitely a lot of corn. What's the difference between like this little like wrapper and like the other one? Can you, t can you taste any difference in you'll the wrapper? Taste the, you'll taste the textural difference. Okay, so there's a textural difference. Mmm, hold out. In the heat. It does have a little kick. Man, that's like a little bomb in your mouth. It's like pani puri, but the wrapper is much, well, it's much thicker. It's more like a, like a pie. And then the, it's not water, right? It's more of a cream base, but that has a kick to it, man. I had a kick, huh? That was nice. I like that one. Oh, good. Definitely corn. Definitely corn. That's so good though. And the last one. This one's interesting. You go for it, Max. Look at this one. It's like a little like bird's nest basket. This is a, it's a, originally a dessert, huh? Man. Interesting. You just went one bite, huh? Oh, yeah. oh man. What kind of meat was that? Duck. Duck, okay. Yeah. Very fatty feeling. Right. It was actually almost kind of floss like. You know, you get pork floss. Mm. It was very salty floss like. Yeah. I almost thought it was like. It fits well with the kind of like the base. Because mm. it's like. Light and crushed. Twirly. <laughs> light crushed, twirly. Flossy. Oh man, that was really good. Of course. Man, that was really good. I love, I mean, just from those first three, that's, I, don't, I feel like those were like mostly Southern Indian dishes. 
takes off of I don't really know. I don't know a lot about Southern Indian cuisine, but that just seemed like a, a different level. I don't know. Yeah, I like it. I like my starters have a lot of texture. Thank you. I like the difference in textures. Yeah. Thank you. Let me move this for you. <laughs> Messy eater. This this salad is made up of compressed cactus. Okay. And compressed cucumber. We source this local variety of cactus known as nafani. 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 So okay. It uh, it kind of cleanses your palate and also holds the salad together. Okay. Uh, we have a few garnishes on the top. There is some cucumber and some chili jar. That is the spicy element on the plate. Okay. We have some pickled starfruit. We have pickled some pickled radishes. We have some pickled cactus, and there are some fresh mozzarella leaves. Okay. The broth that you see is made up of these leaves known as gongura leaves. Mm. So you find those leaves in Maharashtra in this particular state, and you find it down south also. Over here, they kind of make rotis out of it. Ah, uh, okay. And uh, down south, they make chutneys. They serve it with biryani. Ah, uh, okay. Uh, the idea over here was to make a broth, like a refreshing broth. So what I suggest is have a bite of the salad and slurp some of the broth with it. Okay, okay. perfect, great. Thank, Thank you so much. And what kind of cactus was I'm sorry, you said the Nafani. local name? N A N A G. N A G. F A. F A. N A. Okay, Nang Fari. Thank you. Interesting. Wow, special variety of cactus. I don't know if I've ever had normal. I don't know if I've ever had cactus in general. Just go for it. That nice bite. Oh. That's like a sour, sour fruit bomb in your mouth. I like the nice, uh, the small little diced pieces. Just gives you a little bit of flavor of like everything, the cucumber, star, star fruit. Is that what it was? Star fruit, cactus. What do you say, a little bit of the soup? What's your take on that one? It's, it's like a sour bomb. Cactus, but like cactus, I don't know if it's just a cucumber, but it's a cactus as well. It's it's got the sourness, this refreshingness to it, but it's also got like this cooling effect as well. Yeah. The way the cucumber works. I don't know if it's just a cucumber, but it's like cactus. Sour and cooling. Sour cooling. Nice drink of the uh, the mulberry mocktail is really nice right afterwards. It has a little bit of sweetness. It was nice after that sour little. Max finished. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Uh, so this one uh, is a drink that uh, comes out of uh, our idea to repurpose uh, the waste at the bar. Okay. So of course we go through a lot of limes every day. Yeah. Uh, so instead of throwing away the limes that have been squeezed, uh, we uh, soak them in. Uh, uh, some uh, sugar and salt to make an oleo saccharum to extract all the oils out of them okay. and all they get all of that good uh, lemony flavor. Okay. Um, and then we add a bit of clarified lime juice to it. Yeah. Uh, it's topped up with some tonic water and uh, uh, the garnish there uh, is uh, this uh, lime peel from an Indian lime known as Gondharaj lime. Gondharaj so, lime. Gondharaj lime. Okay. Bang on in the pronunciation. <laughs> so it, it's from the eastern part of India from a place called Bengal of course. And, uh, ah, okay. Uh, the name literally means the king of fragrances because Gondha means uh, fragrance and Raj means the king. king. Okay. So, yeah, so this, this is the king of fragrance drink. Yeah, the the lime for sure because uh, <laughs> it's it's like kafir lime but yeah. ten times the flavor. Okay, I'm excited. I feel like it's about to be intense. Yeah, <laughs> I'm gonna go for this. This is reused limes at the bar. Not reused limes, repurposed limes from the bar. Plus, incredibly <laughs> fragrant king of limes. Chris is like, desi lime. Desi lime. <laughs> <laughs> that is ne some next level like lime lemonade though. <laughs> Don't try that, it's actually pretty freaking amazing. They gave you a dust. They gave me a lot, yeah. It's pretty interesting, isn't that, isn't that interesting? It's very zesty, so like they're taking the oils from the zest. Ooh. It is. That is a different different mm. flavor of lime though, isn't it? That's not like a normal lime. Lemony fresh. Lemony fresh. That's better than nimbu lemon. This is like nimbu lemon but on steroids. First class nimbu lemon drink. 
How much is this drink, do you think? 2,000. I guess I'll have to divide it at the end. I'll, I'll put like here how much it is. One for of five. So. Nimbu lemon. One of five, so it's like 500. 500 Nimbu lemon drink. It does have a very strong, just like, zest though. In the course. Hello. Hello. Wow, good afternoon. Thank you. Wow. So for this course, for both of you, there is a barbecue pork. Okay. Uh, which is brined for 48 hours and then it is smoked for 7 to 8 hours to make it uh, tender and on top of it uh, there is a layer of salad which is yeah. made with raw mangoes and a little bit of radish to it and it is uh, finished with some crispy ambi mohar rice so ambi mohar is a aromatic rice which we commonly get it from the borders of Maharashtra okay. and over here it is uh, flavored with some coriander and curry okay and it's dried rice or it's uh, is it dry rice or is it uh Puff rice? Puff rice, okay, puff rice. Okay. We actually don't cook the rice at all, we just toast it. So oh, we toast take, it. We take raw rice and we toast it so that it's crunchy, but it's never uh, like, uh, cooked in any water. Okay, interesting. So it's puffed, like toasted puffed. Toasted rice, so the toasting process gives it a lot of nuttiness. Okay. As opposed to puffed rice, which only gives you crunch, but not a lot uh, in terms of flavor. Okay. And yeah, we, then we pound it with these dried herbs and spices, uh, yeah. which is why it has that color, the beautiful color. Interesting. Uh, the wine along with this one is a Riesling uh, from Washington State in the Pacific Northwest. Right. Uh, it's actually a joint venture uh, between Chateau Saint Michel, which is the oldest winery and the people who started winemaking uh, in Washington State in the, late, in the late 19th century, and Dr. Lozen, which is a very uh, well-known producer in the Moselle region of uh, Germany. So even though it's from the New World, uh, from the US, it tastes more like a German Riesling. Okay. It has one thing on the nose that's very apparent in most German Riesling, which is you get a hit with petroleum okay. or kerosene exactly. on the nose. <laughs> uh, it's very subjective. Is this, like a sweet? Is this a sweet? It's, it's, not, sweet? it's not on the sweeter side, okay. it's on the drier end of things. Okay, perfect. Uh, and yeah, you can expect it to have a uh, very citrusy character and a uh, little bit of uh, a stone fruit as well, but unripe stone fruit like okay. yellow plums okay, perfect. Um, and uh, like unripe apricots. Uh, the name also, they named it Eroika um, after Beethoven's Third Symphony. Okay. You know, of course, he's the greatest German composer. Okay. Are you, are you level four? What level are you? Of? Uh, the, of wine. Uh, I mean, I'm a certified sommelier from the Court of Masters. What level then? Uh, level two then. So. Level two, okay, can I see your pen? So he's got his pin right here. Okay, it's very nice. Certified sommelier pin, but okay, nice. There's, there's a lot more. You're in love too. You still got a long way to go. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so much to know with wine. It's crazy. <laughs> you used good. to want to be like a wine yeah, connoisseur, like, right? I used to start studying this, but I even made level one. <laughs> I also have the gondola line for you to have a look. I'm sure you okay. must have not seen it earlier. No. A few slices, and even if you, even if you scrape on the skin, yeah, it is super aromatic. Like, if I know someone scraping on the skin over there, I can get the fragrance still. Wow. Right. I was That's saying this is like upgraded, like first class Nimbu lemon. Yeah. <laughs> first class Nimbu Sharbat, yeah. Right. So this one, if you just scrape it, it has a... Can I take a piece to yeah, smell? Yeah, that, 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 those pieces are for you. You can scrape on the skin of this one also with your nail. Okay. See how fragrant it is. Well, okay, that's the that's the flavor coming from there. Okay, it's it's like it's almost like an air freshener. That's yeah. how fragrant it is. <laughs> I mean, if I was a perfumer, I'd definitely make. It yeah, perfumer. use this yeah. one. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And just just scraping just this one. Go back to your guy, the perfume guy. Oh, it is very even just the outside is very strong. Probably look weird smelling my hand. <laughs> it's close to like it's, just, it's, it's like, like an air freshener, like a lemon air freshener. Like hyper lime. It's yeah, very yeah. Similar yeah. To that. That's, that's quite the same. Okay, food. Uh, you didn't even try your wine. Sorry, let's start with your wine. No problem. I love Riesling and the fact that it's a dry... I don't like Riesling only because it's sweet. And this is a not very sweet Riesling. Why are they all yellow? Because mm, they're white wines. Okay. <laughs> this is someone who doesn't drink asking. <laughs> it's cool learning from him. So like, if he wants to be top of tier level, there's still a lot of studying go, but to be level two is crazy. Like, it's a lot of research, a lot of everything. You see how all the things he knows. Yeah, oh man, and he's so passionate about it yeah, too. So. I mean, great gotta, you know, have talk about wine. Right. And food. This food looks... If you got out, 
in Mumbai and like went to like the natural area of the state. I feel like that's this where is like the hills of this. Right I know. Now. I feel like that's what that is. Is like we're in the hills. Of, ooh, this is thumbnail shot right here, Max. Man, that this looks like it's all this puffed rice. I'm just gonna. Can I go with my hand? I just, I just want to use just the puffed rice. I just want to try just some of this. Or the toasted puffed rice. Toasted. Oh, you do get... That man's absolutely right. You get a lot of nuttiness from that puffed rice. It's not... It's not super... Or toasted rice, I'm sorry. Man, it's so good. Pork belly is good. Is there any specific direction to cut pork belly? It doesn't matter. Which way is that? <laughs> This way, yeah. Okay, the long way. Long way. Oh, cut short. Okay. Thank you, Max. <laughs> wow, look at that pork belly. Oh, let's get a close up for the camera. Oh, a smell coming. Oh, it's very, very, very smoky. Smoky pork belly. Seven hours. Seven hours. That is very smoky smelling. Oh. That's oh, pretty amazing. It's like, man, that's like upgraded ribs or like barbecued pork. Reminds me of like at home, like when I was younger. My family didn't eat it. Because my family's <coughs> vegetarian, but my like extended family, they would have like uh, braised kind of, or not braised pork, they'd have like smoked pork kind of patties and like little sandwiches. Maybe don't dance to music, I'll get copyright. <laughs> the music is only only one complaint. Music is very loud here. Man, the crunchiness with the toasted um, rice is really good too. Mm. One of my favorite pork dishes we've done. This is so good. Mm. Tons of herbs coming from the from the toasted rice. Man. You would think it would be super, you think it'd be a little dry because of the rice, but it's not. Because that pork is so juicy. That pork is nuts. Hold on, I got a picture of this. This is so good. Probably should have gotten a picture before. Uh, uh. Ooh. Oh, nice. I hope you can not get copyrighted. Yeah. Man, that pork just like falls on the heart. Oh, that perfect cut of. Hard to see. Perfect cut of just like fat with lean meat. Oh, it's beautiful. Mm, that's so good, man. Damn. That's one of the best pork dishes I've ever had. So good. Wash it down with a little bit of our. I already forgot the name of it. Gohuduraj. Some sort of very special air freshener lime. Bengali oh. lime. Bengali lime. That, that helps wash down that strong flavor of the smoky pork. Very freshening. A good pairing. As I guess that's why they're called pairings. They know what to they pair it with the food. They help you. I do. I do just feel like I'm tasting like just drinking air freshener. Those bottles that always tell you don't drink, it has chemical. That's what I feel like I'm drinking. <laughs> what? Yeah. It feels like I'm drinking like air freshener. I finally get to know what it's like to drink air freshener. But it tastes really good. I mean, it tastes like really strong, like lemon and lime. <laughs> it looks so weird scratching, scratching a lime and then. Delicious finger. <laughs> Fragrant petting, finger. petting a lime. We look so weird. <laughs> I'm about to pick my nose. This is what, for those of you that have never joined Max when he drinks, this is what he's like. He becomes very relaxed. We're not there yet. Not quite there yet. We're getting close. Getting close. <laughs> this is a really good view. I'm like a little closer, you're like a little farther. Nice hat. Not my drink. Oh man. <laughs> He's like, not your drink. Not my drink. Well, my drink. <laughs> How are you? I'm good. How are you? First time I met you tonight. 
<laughs> Hopefully not the last. I mean, this no. afternoon, not tonight. What is this? This is the next one you're going to have. One of the beautiful roses that we have. That's Mirabal Rose. Oh, it's a rose. Uh, so it's a blend of uh, Sida, Grenache and Mermin cheese. So it's from the Côte de Province okay. of France. Uh, you will get a lot of uh, floral on the notes, grapefruit, a little bit of peach, and onto the palate you will get a lot of rarity. Okay, perfect. And a little bit of salinity as well. Okay. Uh, so, uh, one of the reasons why this is very famous is the franchise was bought by Angelina Jolie and uh, Frank Pitt. Oh, yeah. Okay. They have a, you know, like they bought this whole franchise and by the way. Okay. Please give it a try. Okay. Man, so I'm, su I'm surprised it's a rose. It's such like a light color. Light color, rosé, very light, doesn't look rosé-ish. It's more like a peach flavor. Oh, where's it's the other one? It's a bit more acidic. This actually, yeah, it's got a little fruitiness to it, like a peach, but you can get that mineral and salinity already just through smelling it. Is it five wines that we're getting? Not enough. Yeah, that's good. It's actually, where the other ones have been like kind of tart and bubbly and sour and kind of clean your palate, this really sticks with you. It's, it's heavier. It's got all those minerals, that salinity. Feels like you're on the coast. Feels like I can hear the waves crashing, but it's also got that just slight fruitiness from like a peach. I am a dick and pretentious. <laughs> I cannot agree more, Max. Put this on and maybe you'll feel a little more uh, gentleman like. Gentleman? Why didn't you come here as a like, architect? You should have came as an architect, man. You don't, you don't think uh, being a physicist is better? I look more like a physicist like this. Where's your pen? <laughs> my pen is at home, I forgot my pen. You need a red and a blue. Man. Red, blue pen. Also green. And green. Triple color. Final exam, one question. <laughs> Science exams. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Do you want to try anything? Kinda. I'll try. I'll try. I one. don't drink, but I'll try. I'll try. This, this is the first non sour, so I think you'll like it. it smells very sour. No, it's the first one's not sour. <laughs> really? The other two have been more sour or fruity. Like a green apple. Okay. Let me be pretentious like Max. Am I pretentious uh, enough? Get them air molecules flowing get, to your nose. Oh man, science. It actually does make it smell like it, it brings the smell out. Delicious. Tastes like wine. I will pass. I will. I, I will stick with my air freshener. You tried. I tried. Oh, I really like the air freshener. So, so much. Drink. I really like the what? So much drink. So much drink. I know. I have such a big cup, and mine is cheaper than yours. I know. And my breath will smell better. These are probably cheaper than this. <laughs> probably. <laughs> I mean, they did use like used limes for this one. Repurposed. Desi lime. Reper Desi lime. <laughs> they go to the juice guy, they're like, how much for these? <laughs> they go outside. Like, they're like, one nimble lemon, only the lemon. <laughs> Where are my five rupees? <laughs> <laughs> my new drink. Oh, we're drinking. Perfect, guys. Oh, yes, I will put this one here. Thank you. Thank you. So, this the one. next mocktail we are having is uh, made with a homemade sweet pumpkin honey. Sweet some pumpkin honey. Sweet pumpkin honey. Okay. Some uh, ginger syrup, spearmint, and a pinch of Himalayan salt. And uh, what did you say? Top with Himalayan salt. A pinch of Himalayan a salt. A pinch of Himalayan, Himalayan salt. salt. And the garnish which we are using is a Damas rose, which we grow in our farm in Pune. Okay. Great. We farm in Pune. Oh. Wow. So most of the garnishes and vegetables come from our farm. From your farm. Okay. Very cool. Cheers. Thank you. I'll try this one. Sweet pumpkin honey. Oh, I smell that ginger. Very strong ginger flavor. The garnish, farm grown in Pune. Oh, that's the first time probably I've ever had like a pumpkin drink. That's actually really good. Light ginger, it smells really strongly of ginger, but it doesn't taste strongly, it's very light. You jealous? It's a really like milky when it goes in your mouth. It's creamy. I've never, never had that with a drink. It creams over my tongue. This is PG. <laughs> I need you to, uh, creams I need over to my keep tongue. this PG. There's no creaming of the tongue going on here. Tastes pretty creamy to me. Do you want to try? Do you want to get some 
cream down your tongue. I was interested that like the, the farm's all the way in Pune. 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 Probably should not say Pune on camera. It's PG. Pune is... What? It's nice. Good, isn't it? Nice. Very nice. It is very nice. Tastes like autumn. It does taste like autumn, you're right. <laughs> what a... <laughs> Even when Max is drunk, he's still... Even when Max is relaxed. Still more right than me. Correct. It is really creamy. It's, I'm just not just me, is it? It's kind of honey. It's kind of raw honey. It's not like the processed honey we get in America, let's put it that way. True, true. Better quality. Hello. Hello. How are you? How are you? How are you doing? Doing good. This is your dish. <laughs> is this your station? Yes. Wow. I'll be Okay, okay, I can wait, you. no problem. We'll wait. Okay, so this course is our take on the pasta tortellini and brotto. Okay. So what we do is mini tortellini pasta. Okay. And uh, we just try to make some South Southern Indian cuisine in it. So okay. we stuff it with something called as kaka roast masala. Now kaka, it means uh, clams in Malayalam. Malu is a language, okay? And roast masala, it is like a very dry masala and it's a very popular local bar snack there. So it has a lot of spices, a lot of savory and sweet notes to it yeah. as well. So we mix some clams with that masala and that would be the stuffing inside it. Then on top of it would be some pickled kombu. There would be pickled seaweed on top of it which you get from Goa. So okay. We add a little bit of fried curry leaves on top. And there's a very flavorful broth again from the south of India called as rasam. So it's like a clear tomato broth which has a lot of you know star meat, some peppercorns. So it, is, it has a nice flavor when you eat it. Okay. So that's the broth that I put on top of it. So make sure each pasta you eat, you slurp on some broth with it as well. And after you're done eating the pasta, you just slurp the remaining broth from the bowl itself. Okay. Are you from South India? Uh, yes. Oh, okay. Partially. 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 <laughs> What's South Indian dish? I was to make sure. I where Where are you from originally? I'm from Bombay itself. Okay. My father was from the South of India. My mom was from North. Oh, it's so a mix. <laughs> it's like a mix. Nice. Good luck. Have a good day. Thank you. <laughs> what kind of pasta did she say? Tortellini. Was? Huh? Tortellini. 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 Nice. Max is Italian. You look Italian enough. Uh, let me show you this pasta. Nice looking. It actually looks really good, man. There's the seaweed that you're getting, the curry leaves. You get one little curry leaf for each one. Slurp some pasta with it. Okay, is it good? You tried to ready for this reaction. I was not ready for the pasta. Oh. Oh. Broth. Strong, man. It's so peppery and aromatic, it just hits the back of your throat. But the tortellini is soft, it's doughy, but then it has that nice sweet clam on the inside. Anything else you want to add? That's all I got for Okay. Now. Look, I like the curry leaf, it's a little crunchy. They like kind of like dried it, didn't they? It's got a crunchiness to the curry leaf. What about the seaweed? It tastes very Southern Indian though. Mm, that the clam on the inside is very like creamy. Sweet, yeah, it's very sweet. Mm. I love like that works really well with the. It's kind of cool broth, because yeah. they take a tortellini, which is like an Italian thing, but man, it tastes pure Southern Indian. Mm -hmm. What did she say the broth was made from? Tomatoes, mm. tomato base. She said it had peppercorn. You see, you can taste the peppercorn. Mm hmm. Mm. Ah. The more I eat it, the more I love the. Uh, I love the creaminess of the clams. So yeah, the only creamy. thing I'm upset is I got like eight only. tortellini. I couldn't use like 800. No, it was like eight pieces. Little, little taste. Short dog taste. <laughs> Best not to have dish with broth when fine dining with Max. Becomes comedian. Oh man, one little tortellini is just like, it's like a little dumpling. <laughs> tortellini doesn't normally have a filling inside. It does, okay. 
Tortellini is the shape. You see the shape of it? Okay. Looks like a tortellini. I don't know what that is. Tortellini <laughs> shape, man. 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 They are definitely experimenting with stuff. I mean, that's why it's a lab. The reason I love like Indian fine dining is because like they still bring some heat. Yeah, the oh, it's fine dining around the spicy. world. Oh, yeah. Nothing. No, no, no. Even in like Peru, we did, there was like no spicy stuff. There's potatoes and meat. Yeah, potatoes. <laughs> The truth comes out. Like, they... This is one of 3,000 potatoes we have. <laughs> I'm surprised this place isn't more well known. This is like. That's on top 50. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, wow. This is like definitely by far like the most complex fine dining we've ever had. I think like the, the amount of this like different stuff they're using, like this, this leaf from this random part, you know, this lime from this part. Like it's very interesting. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, good. Oh, and with the drink, with the cream. Oh, that's nice. After drinking that, really, it has a kick, man. I will have water. No drink for you. Say, man, too happy. Have to relax, man. That is. Per do you want any of my drink? I don't want your creamy drink. Calm your soul. I do not want your creamy tongue drink. Off camera. That's no, okay. I'm <laughs> okay. This drink is growing on me. It has like has the flowery taste. This one's really good. It has a very nice flower and pumpkin, and it's creamy. It's very creamy. Thank you. Thank you.